Hello everyone, my name is Daniel. I'm from Team 3161 and today we're going to be showing you how to put a um, sort of swirly aluminum pattern inside of box tubing. So these are examples of parts that we made this season. These are for our 2023 robot. You can see what the pattern sort of looks like. It's this swirl pattern that almost scales on top of, its, on top of itself. It makes a really nice finish on the aluminum. Works well on one by one. It looks also great with pocketing, so like this. And we also have it for our big four inch tubes this year. So we put it on all of our aluminum extrusions, okay? So it's a very simple thing that we do. It takes very little time as well. What we use is we use the arbor from a die grinder. So this is a 90 degree die grinder that we purchased. You can see I have the arbor. So that's this part over here that spins inside of the drill press chuck. And I've just put a regular um, sanding pad inside of it. So those are, I believe they're called scotch Bright pads. It's just this over here, right? So I'm gonna put that in my drill press. And then the other thing that we also have set up is this fence over here. So this is just a piece of wood that we've clamped down to the drill press table. Um, it's so that way we have something to reference off of when we slide our part through. When we do it, so we turn it on, you have to be very careful with the first one because it's very likely that it catches on the edge. Just pushing down and we make our first mark. So I have my first part of the swirl pattern here. What I do, I center the edge of the die grinder pad with the center of the previous um, pattern that we've just made. So I'll keep repeating that. I like lining it up with the VersaFrame holes and I'll continue doing that pattern over and over on that face. So the drill press is on, nice and quick. You don't need to put a lot of pressure either. In fact, if you put too much pressure, um, the pad shears inside of the arbor. So nice and gently, we go through and we put the pattern on the face. Flip the part around. Oh, this isn't gonna work properly because the pad I'm using is a bit worn down. So it didn't actually overlay, but you can see the pattern is sort of there. Um, I used a worn out pad, that's why it didn't show up properly. But same thing for the one inch face. You go through, do it on the entire thing. So I'm not gonna do the entire part, but you'd line it up on this side for, the, for, the, for half of the part. Do the same thing, put your part down um, on the other face that doesn't have the pattern and follow the exact same pattern and you'll get the VersaFrame pattern. Um, yeah, that's it. It's a very quick, simple way to make your parts look really attractive. That's it. Thank you.